your voice. Recognition mode, yeah? Oh, let's see. Now that the uh, robotics program and artificial intelligence module are installed, there's really no reason why you cannot speak. Hmm. Perhaps you just need a demonstration. See here? Now this is the way to speak proper English. Sprocket, repeat after me. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Now your turn. Oh, maybe Sprocket doesn't speak English. Oh, that would be silly. Oh, but you may be right. I did use a lot of German components when I built him. This just might work. Sprocket, repeat after me. <clears throat> Guten Tag, wie geht es Ihnen? This? Oh, oh dear. <sighs> Perhaps he just needs a more visual language like the human alphabet. I'll try that. <clears throat> Sprocket, repeat after me. A, B, C, D, or two more, four, E, and my favorite, F. There, your turn. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's good. Why don't you try Melikalikimaka? What language is that? Well, it's Hawaiian. It means. Merry Christmas! Oh, no bother! I just don't know what more I can do! <laughs> Doc, there's an important message from Director Terry. Attention, Time Portal Team. Your top secret mission is to locate and transport our storyteller to this location. You'll find the coordinates for Operation Luke. In 1 Peter 4 10. Your task is of the highest priority. Director Terry, over and out. Okay, team, let's do it again. Get into position over here. No, I'm going to need an assistant as well. So, how about you? Come right up here and listen. When I do the countdown and say energize, that's when you hit the button, not before. Okay, there, you're protected. Let's see, now what's next? Oh, the Bible verse. Let's all say it together while I enter it into the computer. Okay, everybody now. Each one should use whatever gifts he has received to serve others faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. First Peter 4, 10. Got it. All right. We're ready over here, Doc. Professor, engage the power. Power engaged. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. No. Something's wrong. You take this and fan that, fan it, fan it to cool it down. Good. Okay. Oh, oh. oh. Professor, I yes. need your help over here. Yes. Oh, yes. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You're right. We need to all work together to get this fixed. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. We're just keep fanning. Keep... What? Oh. Oh, good, good. Okay. Where? It's perfect. Keep going. Good. Oh, I think you've got it. Yes? All right. Whew. Oh, All right. I think it's fixed. Good yes. job, Sprocket. Oh, things really do work out. When we all work together. Oh, this is stupendous.
faith. Take a step of faith. When you cast your heart in front of your face, take a step of faith. With no star to guide your way, God's still beside you. Say, take a step of faith. Just take a step of faith. Yes. Take a step of faith. Just take a step of faith. of the gospel. Do you have a story for our children? Interesting. I've never seen such a thing. It's like an oil lamp with no flame. It reminds me of Jesus' tomb. Miraculous. Oh my. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I was, I was caught up in my observations. I completely overlooked all of you. You look like a, a fine group of healthy people. You see, I, I'm a reporter, but I started off as a physician, as a doctor, I, and I absolutely love it, helping people to be healthy, not just physically, as in the way your, your body works, but also emotionally, like, uh, like how you think and feel. But most importantly, spiritually, as in matters of the soul. I'm very pleased that you all seem to be doing well. And based on the size of this building and the arrangement of the seats, is, is this a church? Yes! Ah, excellent. Uh, forgive me for my curiosity. You see, I'm, I'm so intrigued by all these new things. Uh, much like I was curious when I heard about this man who could heal people and perform miracles. You see, he could... It was unlike anything I'd ever heard. I wonder if you've met him. He, he could heal people just by saying so or, or by putting his hands on them. In, in fact, there was this one time with mud, he, I, and I don't know how he did that, except that they had to have been miracles. He often told them that their sins were forgiven. And where I come from, <laughs> the only way for sins to be forgiven was to make a sacrifice of an animal. But that man, Jesus, had power that could only come from God. One of the biggest miracles he did, and let me tell you, I interviewed so many people uh, to make sure that this really happened. Uh, he died. Uh, that wasn't the miracle. Uh, uh, he was buried in a tomb that looked kind of like this thing. Uh, but that's not the miracle either. L lots of people died and were buried all the time. The miracle was that after he died and, and, and buried in a tomb where a huge stone was rolled in front of it, after three days, after three days,
days, the stone rolled away. And, and, and he came back to life. And he was seen walking amongst people. I interviewed many of them. And he was walking amongst people, asking them to follow him and to preach the good news that he had died for their sins. It's, uh, but being curious, I, I spent a lot of time learning about him, asking every person I could about what they had witnessed Jesus doing. Uh, my reports have been published in, 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 in books. Um, one of them is called Acts. Uh, the, other one's, the other one's entitled Luke, but I, I, I wish they hadn't named it that, because honestly, I'm, I'm just a humble doctor. I, and I'm no place to be recognized for uh, any accomplishments compared to Jesus, the Son of God. One of my best friends was a man you might have heard of. He, he used to go by the name of Saul. And honestly, back then, no one liked him. Um, he chased after followers of Jesus and did very bad things to them. But then one day, Saul encountered God on the road to Damascus. And he was never the same again. Paul repented of his sins. And all the horrible things that had been, he had done. And he became a really devoted follower of Jesus. And he spent the rest of his life sacrificing everything he could so that people would know that Jesus was the Son of God. I mean, if that doesn't make you want to cry. Well, anyways, I, I had to meet this man. Who had turned his life around so dramatically and... And I ended up going with him on many of his, uh, many of his missionary journeys, uh, planting churches all the way to Rome. We, this was an example of, 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 of some of the areas we traveled. And sometimes we went by boat. And, and it was a good thing that I was a doctor because you know, at times there was illnesses and sicknesses, things like, things like uh, seasickness. Oh, that's horrible. Have anybody had seasickness here? Oh, doesn't, not well. I'm not exactly sure how I got to be here, up here in front of all of you today. Though I am grateful that I didn't have to cross oceans or, or walk for days and days on end. I'm, I'm just, a, just a guy doing his best to serve God with the gifts that he's been given. A compassionate heart, training as a doctor, and a curious mind so that I can serve him. I hope that each of you decides to do the same thing. Look at yourself. Look at what strengths God has given you, what talents God has given you. And then spend the rest of your life using those gifts to bring glory to God. It makes me think of another author from the Bible in 1 Peter 4.10 that says each one of you should use whatever gifts he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its many forms. My name is Luke, but I think my time would be better spent here if you only remembered one name. Jesus. And if you're curious and want to know more about him, check out my book. My books, Acts and Luke. There's so much you'll learn about Jesus in those books. I even interviewed his mom, Mary, to find out all about his birth and his childhood and as many details as I could. I mean, what better to know about Jesus' life from the start? You might not be a researcher like me, but you're gifted in your own unique way. And it brings God so much joy when you use those gifts for the jobs that he has given you. Luke, your time here is coming to an end. Please say goodbye to the children as they go to their next adventure. Goodbye. Remember Jesus. 
Remember Jesus. You do. Bye. Bye.